So maybe you are guilty of this or maybe you are not, but there are a lot of us gamers that have huge collections of video games that are unplayed. Whether that be physical copies or digital, console or PC. But let's be honest, today it's mostly PC gamers that are creating huge backlogs of games that they never get around to. And before we go any further, I want to say, I am guilty of both. I once had a huge collection of physical console games before I sold them all and became a digital PC gamer. Now, since I have some experience with this myself, maybe I can help you understand why PC gamers create large unplayed video game backlogs. And I will also give you some helpful tips to help you start playing and knocking out those games. Okay, so first, let me hit you with some facts. There are over a billion PC gamers compared to just a little over 600 million console players. Also, PC gamers have generated more revenue than console games for the past 10 years. And this is my opinion, but I think PC gaming is the future. I mean, besides Nintendo, Xbox and PlayStation are basically becoming PCs with every new generation. As of today, PC is my main platform and I have a lot of reasons for considering PC over consoles, but let's focus on one of the biggest reasons and also the biggest reason PC gamers have huge backlogs. And that reason is multiple game sales going on all year long. I mean, every week there is a sale going on on some digital storefront and in most cases, the games are always much cheaper on PC than console. So we see these discounted prices and bundle packages on sale and what do we do? We pick them up like the game would never go back on sale again. Even if we didn't want the game, the low price will draw you in. And we don't even experience buyer's remorse because we feel we got a discount and save some money. The feeling is opposite because we feel good about our purchase. But the problem is we felt the same way with our last game and the one before that and the one before that. And let's be real, we are just creating a collection of digital games that we are not even playing. Because games today take hours to complete, unlike the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, and let's be real, we only have so many hours in a day. And if you have a job and a family, you really don't have time for gaming and definitely not an RPG that takes 60 to 70 hours to complete. Now, unlike consoles, there are a ton of places to buy PC games. A few storefronts are GOG, Green Man Gaming, Fanatical, Epic Games, and the king of PC games, Steam. And like I said earlier, these storefronts are always running sales every week, so your wallet will never get the rest. And you can create free accounts with these storefronts that will allow you to wishlist games you may want to pick up later. But guess what? You could be going on about your day, not even thinking about games, and then you get an alert on your phone. It's an email from one of those storefronts letting you know that a wishlisted game is now on sale. And boom, you're pausing for a minute to jump over to their page and buy the game. And just like that, another game has been added to your collection. Sometimes there will even be AAA games given out for free on these storefronts. And if we go crazy for big discounts, then of course we are going to claim a free game. Even if it isn't the type of game that we usually play, we still are going to claim it. Epic Games is the biggest store that gives out free titles, sometimes even two free games every Thursday. And I'm not going to lie. I never miss out on those free games. My entire game list on Epic Games is nothing but games they have given away for free. And honestly, I have only played about six of them. Now, since we are talking about free games, I want to also mention free to play games. Also over on Steam, there are lots of them. Because I see a lot of developers putting their free to play games on PC, and most of these games never even make it to consoles. Also, games just pop up in the free to play section all the time on Steam, and we sometimes just download the game because it has some good looking cover art and pictures, planning on trying it out eventually, but in reality, it's just another game installed or claimed that we would never get around to. So those are my big reasons for having a large backlog on PC, but there are a few smaller reasons, such as FOMO, which means the fear of missing out. 
There are some of us that follow gaming communities on social media that talk and discuss trending games and must play classics, or YouTubers that have similar discussions, putting you in a situation of feeling like you are missing out and must own the game for yourself. This next reason I touched on already a bit, but it's the fact of just having the time to play. But you keep telling yourself you're going to somehow make time. In today's fast paced world, time has become a precious commodity. We have so many things we are trying to balance that our time is limited, and in the digital age that we live in, you can easily be distracted by something else that would take away the little free time that you do have away. So with all of that being said, Addressing this issue requires a combination of mindful purchasing habits, timeful management, strategies, and a shift in mindset toward prioritizing quality over quantity in gaming experiences. So the next time you see a PC game on sale, stop, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, is this really a title that I'm going to have time to play right now? But there is hope, and I got five tips I wanna share with you that can help you start playing through some of those games so you don't feel like your money was wasted. Okay, so all of my PC gamers that have multiple storefront accounts, I need you to log out of all of them. We do not wanna get any more notifications about games being on sale or wishlisted games being on sale. As for Steam and Epic Games, the two biggest storefronts that we actually launch games from, of course you cannot log out of them because you have to be logged in to play your games, but what you need to do is go through your list or wish list games and unwish all of them. We are going blind to all sales, discounts, and notifications. And to go even further, to make sure you don't see any random sales that may be running on Steam, set your Steam to open in big picture mode, so only the games in your library will be shown when you open it. Second, now let's look through your list of games and pick one to start playing. I mean one, don't try to play two or three jumping back and forth between them. No, one game at a time. Now if you are not enjoying that game, do not force yourself to play it. You have a backlog, so there are tons of options to move on to. Always remember, time is valuable, and because time is valuable, we are not gonna try to 100% every game we start. Video games today can be over 100 hours when doing all side quests and everything else, so stick to the main story and you can cut the time in half or maybe even less. Number three, yes, games are long and some games can have harder levels or harder areas. You could get stuck doing a particular thing in game or there may be a boss that you keep losing to. Don't waste time trying to figure it out. Do as I do, go to YouTube and look for a video that will help you out with that problem. Because if you are struggling with it, best believe someone created a video that would make for a guide to easily beat that level, area, or boss. And don't be ashamed of getting some help because you, my friend, have a backlog that you are trying to get through. And if you are someone who just doesn't feel right about going to YouTube, then hey, most games today will also let you go into the settings and change the difficulty at any time. So play on easy, beat that boss, then change it back to normal. Who's gonna know or care? Next, number four, try not to get distracted by anything. Now, PC gamers can get easily distracted because, well, you're on a computer. And if you have multiple monitors, then this situation can be even worse because you may have a video up browsing the web, you can have anything on that second screen, or maybe you're looking at some nasty videos. Hey, I'm not judging you, I'm just stating the facts of what could be keeping you from focusing on playing a game. Also, don't turn your phone off because you may miss an important call, but try to stay off of it. Because we all know that getting on Facebook or Instagram, TikTok for just a second could end up in a endless scroll for minutes. So yeah, keep your phone close, but try to stay off of it. And last, number five, you should evaluate and prioritize your library. I know sorting through a large collection of titles might seem overwhelming, but it's important to prioritize which games you really want to play. Because not every game in your collection you really want to play. Some you may have gotten free, or some was just so cheap that you picked it up for that reason alone. This is important. We don't have to play every game in the backlog. 
just the ones that intrigue you the most. So create a short list of games and categories like must plays. These can be titles you've been anticipating on playing, short games, games you can finish in under 10 hours, casual games, games that can be played in short sessions, or long games, games with massive content or long campaigns. Once you have a list, start playing and knock down that backlog. A common mistake when working through a backlog is feeling like you have to complete every game. This mindset can turn gaming from a hobby into a task. So it's important to remember that gaming is supposed to be fun, not something you have to do. If a game isn't capturing your interest, it's okay to move on. Please don't force yourself to finish a title just because it's in your backlog. I hope this video was helpful for you. And also, I hope you guys can knock out some of those games. I'm Shandell, thanks for watching, and please, don't add any more games, you're just making it worse.